In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an automation using high level or go high level as some people call it, that will show your clients customers when a tech is on the way. So somebody asked, let's go ahead and hop in Facebook really quickly. Somebody asked, has anyone perfected the your tech is on the way automation for home service based businesses? Now, what I do, if you don't know who I am, my name is Alec, I have a few agencies. And basically what I do is I work with digital agencies, usually in the sales and marketing space that work with local service based businesses. Most of those are the home services. So for example, your painters, your stump removal, your lawn care and landscaping, your cleaners, your HVAC, right? Anything where they are going to the individual's home to do work. And so what I replied to this post was basically saying one hour before the appointment, you can send an internal SMS to a tech with the trigger link that says, hey, click on this when you're on route, when you're on the way, right? And so when that trigger link is then clicked, it's going to then send a text to the customer saying, hey, you have a tech on the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop over into high level and I'm gonna show you exactly how to set this up for 100% free. Anything you see here, I give to my go high level affiliates, but I'm gonna show you everything here so you don't have to pay me for any of this, okay? So I'm gonna go in here, active job 04. This is the job reminder sequence or some people will call it a job nurturing sequence or maybe a booked uh, appointment follow-up sequence, whatever you're gonna call it, right? So the trigger is gonna be that the customer has booked an appointment. So in this one, it might be a painting job calendar. It can be whatever your service calendar actually is, right? So the first thing that I typically do is I typically remove from the previous workflow because of all of my automations connected. So if you have an automation before this, which is schedule job, that's going to basically notify you, hey, schedule the job, schedule the job, or notify the customer, hey, book the time here, right? Whichever works with your flow a little bit better. So once they do that, we obviously wanna stop reminding them. So we're gonna remove them from any campaigns or any automations that is trying to notify them to book the job. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna move them into the job schedule pipeline. So I have an active job pipeline. You can see all the stages here. We do a waiting deposit, need to schedule, and then that was uh, the previous automation, and then scheduled job. So once they have booked, the job has been scheduled. And now what we're gonna look at is in this automation, how we're moving it from a scheduled job to an active job, and even from an active job to either revisions needed or it's closed and get final payment. So for simplicity's sake, you're gonna move them into your scheduled job stage. Next, you're gonna send them, them being the customer, an appointment confirmation SMS, and you can copy the exact thing I have here. It's pretty simple, so please feel free to make it your own. Uh, I love using Claude.ai. I feel like it writes better copy. And I tell it to typically rewrite these things in a blue collar uh, style of speech because that just works better. And the uh, blue collar client of yours is gonna feel more competent and more comfortable having the automation sound like them as opposed to you know an AI chatbot, right? So we say, hey, contact first name. Your appointment is scheduled for a part, uh, appointment start time. If you have any questions, send me a text. Talk soon. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a wait one day before so you just do a wait for event time before and i just do one day and again you can make this however you want this is just what i have then we have the 24 hour before sms that just says hey contact name it's use your first name again so this would be like hey bob it's alec again wanted to confirm that we will see you tomorrow talk soon then what i do is one hour before the appointment time again same kind of wait i'm going to send an internal notification and this is going to be a text message so you're going to do text to the assigned user so you would make want to make sure that this is being assigned to somebody or you can do a specific user or even all users let's say you have multiple texts you can send this to everybody okay and what you're going to do is you're going to say contact name has an appointment in one hour at this address at this time and then you're going to put click this link to let the client know when they're on the way and this is going to be a trigger link and i'll show you how to set this up but you're going to do a trigger link and so i've just named the trigger link on route to job TL being trigger link, okay? And we're gonna save that automation. So let me very quickly show you how to do that. We're gonna go back to workflows, go to marketing, go to trigger link, links, and you're gonna see it's right here. So you're gonna name it so that way you know what you're going to have it do in automation. And then you're gonna put some kind of a thank you page. So you can make a, uh, like a random page in your website or in a funnel and just say something like, thank you, your uh you know response has been collected your response has been received your submission is good right thanks for your submission it can be anything just really really simple don't have a full website literally just have it say thank you like we received your confirmation right you can see here i literally just put blah blah blah.com that's not even a website and so we're going to come back to automation come back in here and to put the trigger link in here you're going to go here and click this little lightning bolt and there it is on right to on route to a job trigger link right and we're going to save that. And now we're going to do a wait. So now with this wait, we're going to do wait for trigger link click. So if you click on your wait, you'll see this. Just scroll down and you'll see trigger link clicked. And then you need to make sure that you select the right trigger link. So click on this and we're clicking on this one right here. 
And then what I do is I do a timeout after one hour. So after an hour, if this action does not take place, we can have a backup option. I'll show you what we do there. Now, if they click it, you can see trigger link clicked. I'm going to then move it to the active job stage because now that they have clicked the trigger link, the tech is on the way. That means they are going to the client, which means this job is now going to be active, right? And once that happens, we're going to send a text message to the customer, to the client, and we're going to say, hey, contact name. So, hey, Bob, it's Alec with 123company.com, whatever. Wanted to let you know that someone from the team is on the way to you now. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you soon. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a wait one hour after the appointment. So I'm just going to do a time delay wait for one hour. I'm not going to do a uh, event appointment time because of the recurring notification that you're going to see in just a moment. So I just do a typical one hour delay. And so one hour after this has taken place, we're going to have this internal notification, which is a text message to the assigned user or again to whomever uh, you want to send it to. And it basically says when the job is completed for contact name at this address, please uh, complete this survey. And then I have another trigger link and the trigger link is going to be for a job um, outcome survey, which I'll show you. And then we have a go to. So basically once they get that text message, I'm going to go back to the waiting for one hour. And so I'm going to continuously notify this person, this, this tech to fill out this job outcome every hour until they complete it. Right now I could change this wait one hour to however long you think it's going to take. So for example, let's say a painter is going to take a while. We could make this, you know, eight hours. We can make it 12 hours. We can make it 24 hours, right? It's really up to you what you want to do. I'm just going to leave this as one hour just for the example sake of this video. Now, What's going to happen is once that person clicks on the trigger link, they're going to have this stage move to active job. The customer gets the text message and then they get the notification with the job outcome survey. Now, let's say they don't click the link. What you can then do is after an hour, you can notify uh, maybe a certain user. You could notify maybe uh, the owner, whoever's the manager of these individuals. You can notify everybody. You can notify whomever you want and you can do an internal notification or a text and basically say, hey, nobody has picked up the appointment for this name. Please make sure that someone handles the appointment or you reschedule the client ASAP. So basically what you want to have an automation to do is either A, has somebody taken this job or B, what do you do if nobody has clicked the link, right? So for example, if you are a manager, let's say you're like a, a field manager, they don't pick up the job, you can go in and take over because you can see all your guys are busy, right? Or if you're working, uh, maybe you're a dispatch manager or whoever's handling dispatch, they can see no one's picked it up. They can start calling around saying, hey, can you take this job? Hey, can you take this job? Hey, can you take this job? Right? So just some, some alternate situations that you can have. Um, again, if you're a one man team, then you're gonna see, okay, hey, I have not let the customer know I'm on the way, right? Whatever you wanna do there. Now, what I do for the um, job outcome is I'm gonna go to sites, I'm gonna go to surveys, go to builder, and you have the job outcome survey. So what I do is I text the guys, and this is all done through the phone, so it's super easy. They never have to log into the app if they don't want to. I text the guys and I say, hey, figure uh, fill this out whether or not the job is complete. Is the job complete? You put yes. Is the customer happy? You can put yes, <clears throat> you can see here, or no, they want some changes. Uh, would you like to request a review from the customer? Would you like to ask your customer for a referral, right? And you can change this to whatever you want, have any job notes here. You can even have where you upload a uh, picture. If I wanted to have some kind of a picture, I can come over here and I can do a uh, file upload right here. So I could have them upload a picture if I wanted to of the job, right? So you could do all kinds of things here, but this survey is gonna be what I send the tech to fill out that has more automations. And I can show you that really quickly too. But once you have that link, you wanna get the uh, share link or the preview link. And you're gonna go into your custom values. And you're gonna create a custom value just like this job outcome survey link. Here is the, um, the uh, what do you call it? The custom value link itself. And you can see the value of the share. So you're gonna copy this. And then you're gonna go back into your trigger links. So we're gonna marketing, trigger links, links. And you create this one. So this is gonna be job outcome survey link. And you can see the, the trigger link is right here. But then after that, what you see is you see the uh, UTM parameter for the contact. So if you have both of these in place, what's gonna happen is when it sends the trigger link over to the technician, the worker, he or she fills that out. It's going to track that submission with the contact, with the uh, customer. And so the cool part of that is all from your phone, now the customer is being notified when they're on the way, the tech is being notified, hey, you have a job in an hour, go ahead and click here to let them know when you're on the way. And then you can see the next automation, AJ, active job zero five, job outcome survey outcome, or job completed survey outcomes, if you don't want outcomes twice, you can see here, hey, is the job completed? Yes. If they're happy, we're gonna move them into the final payment stage and that's gonna request them to send payment. Uh, if they're not happy, we're gonna move them to the revisions needed stage and then that can have their own automations, right? You can delay it a day, you can delay it an hour, you can make sure you have time to fix it up. And so you can have all the automations uh, basically taking the customer through the entire thing, the entire pipeline of lead to happy customer and the technician can do the whole thing from his or her phone. 
So they don't even have to download the Lead Connector app if you don't want them to have it, or you can, it's completely up to you. But this is just how I have it set up. Uh, I know I kind of showed a little bit extra. I just wanted you guys to see, you know, the, the context of which it's in. If you have any questions, let me know below. If you have a different way that you uh, would do it yourself, I'd love to hear. And if you want me and my team to actually come in and build this for your company, there's two things you can do. Number one, I have a uh, group environment called Seiso University. You can join for free as an affiliate or you can pay monthly to join. You get access to all these automations. You can see here, there's just one automation, but you can see I've got a ton of stuff here. Or if you want my team and I to build this out in your business, what I do is I build custom scalable backend growth systems for agencies and their clients. So I can build this for your company or I can build this for your clients, clients kind of thing, right? If you have any questions, let me know, comment below. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.